Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and for the gamers out there um, I had that question asked um, because I posted an old video so several versions ago back in Windows 10 when you had a game or something that um, could use the high performance graphics adapter on your computer you could simply right click on the game and then choose you know um, run the app with the high performance adapter they've removed that unfortunately and it's sad because I found that to be very very nice just a right click and you could easily switch what adapter you're using for the graphics a lot of laptops and uh, desktops today have come with two graphics adapter a basic one and of course a, a more advanced um, like this gaming laptop I got here which has the a, um, a basic one if I look at the uh, this the device manager uh, and go into the uh, display adapters you will see that in display adapters I've got a Radeon graphics and uh, which is a pretty crappy uh, graphics adapter honestly and I've got an NVIDIA GeForce which is a much more advanced card so of course when you play games you want to have the NVIDIA and some graphics um, apps also so the reason I keep both, because some of you might be removing one, is because it is much better on battery life to have the, um, you know, crappy basic um, adapter running when you're on a laptop on battery. If you remove it from being capable of running that, uh, the battery will last a lot less using the, the high performance card. Now, how do you choose which games or a game that will be uh, played with or any apps with graphics that you want to have running on the high performance or not well simply search for graphics and you'll see there is going to be something that's graphics settings so the graphics settings are in the system in display in graphics so when you actually go to the settings app and if you actually go into display you will see also right here at the same place there's graphics and this is where it's happening so you choose either if it's a an app a desktop app or a Microsoft app what's the difference Well, the Microsoft app you'll have the list and the list will show up and you can just browse through the list of apps which is very easy and that is nice because when it's a store app it actually works well so, for example, I would make sure that my Forza Horizon 4 is, of course, running with my high performance. Right now, it's let Windows decide because it does it automatically anyways. But you can force it and say, no, I always want high performance graphics with this. The other thing is because it doesn't switch correctly all the time. And, of course, the other way that you can do it is choose desktop app. This one's a little more tricky because you got to browse... And then you got to browse into, you know, your different folders. So you have to go into, uh, you know, this PC and go into your C drive and then find your games where they're installed in program files. Choose the correct uh, game or app that you want to have. Once you're there, you got to choose the executable and the correct executable also because it's not always easy to find. I wish, because they could do it, I wish that they would have a list like they do a list with the Microsoft Store apps. But unfortunately, it's a little more complex with desktop apps. you got to find the executable of the game where it is installed on your PC. Once that is done, all you have to do when you do that is simply click, go on to the options and make sure that you put high performance, uh, whatever card you have as the choice, click save. Technically, next time that you run it, it should run in uh, the uh, high performance mode. That said, there are stubborn apps that it just does not do it, unfortunately. But most of the time it works and enables you to actually force an app into whatever mode you want, high performance or not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.